Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of South York's Allotment. Now I apologise if there's a bit of wind within this early stage of the video, it is quite blustery. Um, in this section here, for the viewers who've subscribed since last year will have known that I planted a lot of these bulbs in here to make a bit of a flower border. These bulbs are from Morrison's and they contained crocuses, daffodils, tulips and hyacinths. As you can see the crocuses were the first to pop their heads out and now the daffodils are starting to just open flower and put on a lovely floral display. The hyacinths there, they're just starting to poke through now and the tulips are looking really healthy too so overall a real nice floral entry as you step on, onto the allotment. So in this bed here then, this was what I constructed the back end of last year and just there the extended bit is where I'm going to put off a bit of a flower border. Now I'm thinking of maybe putting something like gladiolis in there, something of that type of thing. Um, I've prepped it by putting a couple of sheets of cardboard underneath and then I've sifted some of the topsoil what was originally within the old raised beds. The plans are to then continue with another big raised bed in this area, then maybe a smaller flower border again and then finally replace these two older ones here with another raised bed. So I kind of like have three raised beds with a couple, with with two flower beds dividing the big ones up so to speak. So that's my plans and it'll keep me going but it'll be nice just to get foot on the allotment and get rid of all this heavy rain we'll keep getting. It is quite wet still the ground but we've had a couple of days where it's been fairly still so hopefully we have another couple of days of the weekend I can get down here and get cracked on. So that's it for down here at the moment then. I'm just going to take you back home and into the greenhouse and show you what I've been up to there regarding the seed sowing. So I'm back at home now and I'm just about to sow some brassica seeds. Now this may seem a bit bizarre but this is currently one on one of my bedroom windowsills and these are the types of seeds I'm sowing. Grey and cabbage, golden acre, so spring, summer, winter cabbage, January king, broccoli calabrese and cauliflower all the year round. So as you can see they're mainly for the gills seeds and part of the grow your own packages what you get you get a few half a dozen packages of seeds so to speak so i've got just got these inch cell trays here filled it with the seed sowing compost john innis and i'll just put in one seed per station i'm planning on doing two rows ground what's 14 two rows of golden acre 14 two rows of january king cabbage that's 14 uh, 21 Calabrese in 21 collie all the year round. I will however be doing another lot of sowings probably in about another two months time so I've got a bit of a successional sow and harvest. Now just in the distance here, I discard this because there's obviously nothing going to be coming up. Uh, I've planted some pepper seeds and I've put 10 in total and they're all, I know you can see 8 there but there is the other 2, I only got two, 10 and the variety is a tweed orange and basically it just it's like an orange bell pepper it's quite sweet but they've taken really nice i've had them on top of the radiator and now we're getting some sunny days and mornings i'm just now offering them up to the light and then i'll return them back to the radiator at dark just so they're getting a bit of heat on the bottoms here as with this i will be putting a, a plastic cover over the top just to give it a bit of heat it might not cover it all, but it's just to give it a bit of extra stuff. So I'll get set up and I'll show you how I crack on. So I've got this implement here, which I'm going to use as a little dibber. And it was part of a uh, firework for some reason. I found a firework knocking about on a local field where I take the dog for a walk. And basically all I'm going to do is use this as a bit of a dibber. Uh, just, like that, just to make a small 
indentation, probably about half an inch deep as such like that. And then I'm going to drop a seed in. The sand, uh, the sand, sorry, the compost is fairly moist anyway, so dipping these holes is quite an easy task to do. And then all I'll do is I'll drop a seed in each one, and then return the soil back to the hole, and then hopefully it'll uh, germinate. So that's it really, just dipping a hole, so I'll just do the rest of them and I'll be back with you shortly. So all the holes are dibbed out now, so all it'll take is just for me just to drop one seed in each station like that, and then return the soil back and cover it, and give it a nice little delicate misting spray, and then return the cover, and then everything should hopefully be on the way to germinating. I'm not going to bore you by showing you just dropping a seed in each hole, but that's the general consensus. I pinched this idea off Nigel Muddy Boots with his uh, tape and writing on it, it's a good way of remembering what you've put in instead of the, the labels because if them labels go or get misplaced then it might be hard to try and find what you've sown and when especially with brassicas because all the seeds are all similar sort of size colour shape etc so that's it so now I've got my seeds underway um, you saw in the last video I've got the beans sweet peas they're going so I'll be putting some actual peas putting some in some gutters and also showing you some of the jobs that I've been up to on the other allotment. So Storm Dennis has now arrived and I'm tucked inside the safety and out the wind of the greenhouse. This is what I've been up to in the last few days. I've just got all my potatoes out, just chitting nicely in the egg boxes. Um, different meat foremost, Pentlin Javelin. Uh, what else have I got here? Uh, Estima, King Edward, Desiree, etc. In all these cell trays here, I've got some sweet peas, so they've just been done this morning and I'm just in the process now of doing some broad beans uh, the varieties I'm using this year, Bunyard's Exhibition a new variety called Scorpio and then I got this pack in the Grow Your Own magazine, the Free, free Seeds, which is crimson flowered so I'm going to give all of them a try I managed to get me to send some tulip bulbs as well to go in some nice pots at home so this will pretty much keep me going for another hour or so out the storm, the wind and the rain, and then hopefully I'll be able to get back on the plot again in the next few days. So for the time being, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.